So I'm going to show you how to set up your Mary Kay personal website. When you're in your main home page under business tools, you will click on this top button and go down to the second line where it says personal website manager. Click on that and then you will go to check out PWS manager. You're going to click on those words and then that is going to take you to your personal website. You're probably going to have to first accept the guidelines and once you accept the guidelines you'll click this button here but it will say sign up. It won't say update. It will say sign up. And right here is where you can add a photo of yourself if you'd like to. If you don't add the, the picture of yourself, it'll just be a rose. Most of this you don't need to worry about. You can put in your links and your phone numbers if you want to, but it's not necessary. All of these things are optional. Then you go to the bottom and you say save and continue. You can put the zip codes of your own address and other zip codes that are near you if you choose to. You can also put any other languages that you speak. When you go to site settings, it's going to give you an option of a website. It's going to have one choice or there'll be a choice below. This website has already been set up, but when you're brand new, it will give you a choice. You can click on the bottom button, which would give you a way to create your own website. So if you don't like the website that is already pre-populated, you can change it to a different website. Once you get the website in that you like, you can just say save and continue. Keep it simple. Don't make your website too long or hard to remember. Now this section is promotions and offers. I recommend clicking no for everything except beauty e-news. I say turn this one on so that your customers can get a email newsletter from Mary Kay. But the rest, you can just leave them turned off for right now. Maybe later you would want to offer discounts or samples. The order fulfillment, I always recommend keeping these turned off. Easy ship and guest checkout. You can learn more about those later. But for right now, you do not need them turned on. And it will say something about sign up for ProPay. That's a different step that you can take. You can click on it here, or you can go to a different section that I'll show you in a minute. Save your changes. And when you get to the end, you are going to have to activate your website. You will have to purchase it, but it's going to be $0. And once you purchase it, it is good to go. And that's a link that you can send to friends and family so that they can shop on your website. You will get an email when you get a personal website order. So the way to set up ProPay is to go to business tools and then go down to ProPay. ProPay is a company that we work with that partners with our website so that people can put their credit cards in to be able to have you charge their credit cards to purchase the products they want. So you're going to click on sign up and this is just showing you some of the uh, perks and the ways that ProPay works. They do take a small percentage of every sale for their own profit and they charge a 30, per 30 cents fee every time you use a credit card to process an order. So that's how ProPay makes their money. But you are just going to select this button right here. The sign up cost is $5. That's only paid one time. You will not pay anything else ever again. It's just $5 to activate ProPay. You will be asked for your credit card at the end and you will be filling in information about yourself your uh, address, uh, some of your security um, numbers and that kind of thing. It is a very secure site so you can put that in and feel confident that it's safe. And once you get it set up, sometimes they ask you a few more questions just to make sure that you are who you are. They want to make sure that there is no uh, monkey business going on with people signing up with ProPay under a different identity. So it's a very, very safe site. So once you get to the end of filling out all of your information, then you just pay your $5 and you're ready to go. And your ProPay will be linked to your personal website. Now, when you get an order from someone on your website, you will get an email 
that says, congratulations, you have a personal uh, website order. This is one that I got yesterday. It says, you have received a personal website order. This is what the email looks like. And it's an alert to let you know who has ordered what they have ordered. And then you can go in and fill that order how you want to fill it. There's a couple different ways that you can do that, but I will explain more about that later. But the website is uh, basically free for you for the first year. After that first year, you can choose to pay $29 for one more year to renew it. So every year it would be $29. But for the first year, the website is totally free. So I do recommend getting it. It has an easy link there that you can send of your friends and family so they can shop with you. And if you do decide that you do want to have a credit card attached to it so you can process people's credit cards, then make sure you activate ProPay. So again, this is under business tools, personal website manager, and ProPay is under business tools as well. Just make sure you go here and click on check out PWS manager to get that set up. All right. I can't wait to hear how you do with getting your website set up. And I'm here to help you with any questions that you have.